Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark, this is Begabber Backpacking, and today I wanted to talk with you guys a little bit about a couple of wood burning stoves that I have used on a couple of recent trips. Actually, the two most recent trips that I've gotten out on, I've taken them, used them to uh, boil a bunch of water, to do uh, the, the coffee tests, grilled up some steaks on them, really cool little stoves, and I wanted to show them to you a little bit more in depth a little bit up close, show you the different ways that they could be set up and talk with you a little bit about them. And I think you'll want to stick around to the end where I've got a little something special for you guys. So without further ado, let's get into this. Let's go. Okay, so these two stoves that I've used in the past couple of trips, the last trip I used was this bigger one, which is the Core 4 Bioreactor. And the previous one was this one, which is the Frag Ultimate Titanium. Now the Ultimate Titanium is a little bit different than the normal Frag in that it's not in a bunch of different pieces that have to be put together and a little bit more complicated. The Ultimate Frag titanium is uh, more solid and so it goes to be, uh, together quite a bit easier. Uh, so let's take a look at how these are set up. Okay, so let's take a look first at the frag. So both of these come in these bags and have all the pieces in there along with instructions. So the instructions tell you how to put it together. This one's actually pretty easy. All of the pieces just kind of fit together pretty easily. You just have to line up the openings with the openings. And then it has different pieces. So this piece here is for the top load updraft design. Get those together. Now the hardest part is getting this last piece on. Make sure you're putting it on correctly. Hardest part is getting that last piece to fit down in there. And then you fit in the, the bottom piece, slide it over, get it to line up, almost there. Almost. One last little snap. There we go. And so now you have this set up. And I actually set it up inside out, and so I'm now getting my hands dirty. But it has this grill piece that can go on top, and it has this rocket door. So it goes this way. pieces that together and then it goes right into here these slide over and locks it in place and now you can feed it through here right through here or just load it through the top this piece is not locked in yet there we go so there's the stove nice lightweight titanium stove okay so this one is the frag now, normally with the other frag, it has a top piece and a bottom piece, and those get put together. Now, it does pack down to a smaller package, but this one's a whole lot easier to put together. Like I said, I set this up with what was the inside out. Uh, not a big deal, it can go together anyway. But as you can see, it's got the feeder hole right here, which creates a nice draft going in. This top piece right here, it's called the TLUD, top load, updraft and what it does is it actually because of the way it funnels the updraft it actually traps more heat inside which makes a better combustion chamber and just really gets the flames going really well in there uh, really creates a rocket now if you're gonna use the grill top you probably want to use it without this updraft just to get more 
flame surface area on that grill and it works great so I've used this one a couple of times nice lightweight design let's take a look at the bioreactor the core 4 bioreactor so this one's a little bit bigger um, as you can see there are a lot more once I get it open <laughs> there are a lot more pieces in this one because it can be set up several different ways uh, these are all the pieces that come with it when you open it up out of the package now as you can see some of these haven't been used at all because of the way that I was using it so let's take a look at the way I normally would set it up and we can talk about the other ways now this one is a bit more difficult to set up and so it's got this piece which is for setting it up three-sided instead of four-sided you've got wind blockers you've got rocket door so the same type of door that's on the smaller one you could do on this one if you are in an area where you need no ash to fall underneath it you can use this solid bottom but there is the vented bottom which is what we need and then the four walls and then the other piece so you've got the grill which I have used on this one and then here you have the gasifier pieces so these gasifier pieces turn this truly into a gasifier so let's go ahead and get this put together So the gasifier pieces fit not only into the sides, but they also fit into the bottom. So there are slots on the bottom, those slots on the bottom also fit into the side. And so here you can see it creates these openings where the fumes, the vapors can get in there, get superheated as they come up and then come out of these holes and become really gasification. So like I said, this one is definitely much more difficult to set up, to get set up. Definitely takes more patience, more time. Now from here, if you've got three sides of it set up, now you decide, do you want the top piece in, the top loading updraft piece? Do you want that installed? If so, it goes in rather easily. Do you not want it installed? And do you want to use the fourth one and close off the door? Or do you want to have it so that you can feed it from the outside? Last time I used it, I actually closed it off and used it without the door. So I used this door blocker to go over this piece here. So this actually goes in and closes off the door this piece will be behind that door if you're using it as a full gasifier which is how I'm going to set it up right now all right Now to get this last side on, you just kind of line everything up, it takes a little bit of playing with it, but once you get it lined up, then you can set it down, and now you have a full gasifier mode there, and you can take that grill top, put it on there, and I've done really nice grilled steaks right on there on this grill top, uh, so it works out really well. So like you can see, I've got it closed right here. You could put together a turbo door and have it be like a chimney. You can have the top load updraft piece in there, which then creates that updraft and creates more of a rocket. So all in all, 
two very cool design stoves wood stoves msp core so like i said i have used both of these on recent trips so why don't we take a look at some of the video of each of these in action they're pretty cool All right, so we've got two great stoves here. We've got the MSP Core 4 Bioreactor Titanium, and we've got the Frag Ultimate Titanium right here. Good stoves. The Core 4 total weight is about 10 ounces. That's with everything. That's with all the extra plates. That's with the grill top. If you were to use it just in the configuration I have it here, it runs about 8.7 ounces. This one, the Frag Ultimate Titanium, while it's a little bit smaller stove, it comes in at about 4.9 ounces. So 4.9 ounces on that one. Now the cool thing about these stoves, especially this one, is that you can use this. So if you were to place this down further, I like to use it right here where it is, this top load updraft but there's actually little slots right here that drop it about an inch lower. If you go an inch lower, you can use this accessory, the core burner, place that in there on the diagonal like that. You can see it right here, place it in there at the diagonal like that. It allows airflow around it. And this is just like the MSP core alcohol stove. Uh, it has an adjustable side, so depending on how high you raise it, you've got these slots all the way around that you can either close off for a slow simmer type burn or open up as far as you can without the top popping off to get a fast hot burn. So that will fit right in there. I haven't tried. Let's see. Now it's not, well, I guess it would it would work just like that with the uh, the core four. It actually the lid grabs it pretty well, and it will hold it right there. So you could use it with both of these stoves. So that's an, an option to make it a little bit more versatile on those trips where you're not sure if the wood's going to be wet or dry. Now I have shown that you can use wet wood and be just fine. All right, so at the beginning of this video, I told you guys to stick around. Now, for those of you that have stuck around, thank you very much. If you are a subscriber to this channel, I appreciate it. And so rather than doing another one of my giveaways where I announce that there's a giveaway, I thought throwing this at the end of the video, if you decided to stick around, well, here's your chance to own your own MSP Core Frag ultimate titanium stove it's brand new it has all of the pieces including the grill top it's got the burner the alcohol burner it's got an alcohol fuel bottle so all of this could be yours if you go down below and tell me what you like about my stove videos and what your favorite stove is it could be a wood burner it could be an alcohol stove it could be a canister stove it could be a white gas stove it could be whatever you want it to be I just want to know what your favorite stove is. Put it down below in the comments. That comment will enter you. And once I hit, let's 
let's say 200 comments, I will be pulling a winner. So as soon as we get to 200 comments, I'll be pulling a winner and giving this, it'll be just like this, except not as dirty, with the companion burner away to one of you guys, one of the people that are dedicated to this channel that stick around and watch these videos through to the end. I appreciate you guys checking it out. I will see you down the trail.